Hey guys, it's Sam here and welcome to the latest YouTube channel review. Uh, today we're actually going to be going over a video vlog from my friends from the Italish channel. So I've had the privilege of connecting with these guys, uh, Ricardo in particular, um, on Facebook and we had a chat about, you know, having a look at his channel because uh, I actually came across one of his videos, I can't remember, I think it might have been one of the YouTube uh, Facebook groups um, and I checked out his video and, and it was actually really good um, what surprised me though is that uh, I remember him posting something about wanting to get more engagement or, or uh, uh, learning how to grow his channel because he feel it was stagnating now um, keep in mind it is the 4th of January so it's early in the year um, and I believe what might have actually happened is is more around the the Christmas period. Um, you know, people are, are really busy. You know, uh, it is a difficult time to try and grow your channel. The last two weeks of December, it can be done, uh, but it is difficult, especially vlogs, because vlogs are something that are more of a lifestyle. They're right? they're more of a TV show, a luxury, if you will, a leisure. And so people follow vlogs um, based on their time and availability, particularly on YouTube, because people aren't. Uh, locked into specific times like on a prime TV channel show like the Kardashians for example so um, in this YouTube channel review uh, this vlog channel review I'm gonna be going over uh, the Italian channel and what it is that I can try and recommend to help them improve now what's to, to be completely honest these guys are killing it right they are doing a lot of things right and there are very few things that they are doing wrong but there are a few things um, that they can improve upon, you know, to make their channel even better. And um, what I what I like is that I've actually gone through these some of these guys' videos. I think I've watched maybe four or five of them, and they're actually really really good. They they're very engaging. They're a good looking young couple. They have uh, awesome accents, and so it really brings it brings a a, a a twist to the channel. And on top of that, what I really like is the name Italish. Like it's it's it's. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's got a great feel to it, like like the Kardashians. I mean, these guys are um, you know bring a lot more value than them, uh, but that's a, another video for another day. But these guys are actually very good at what it is that they do, um, and I do believe with a few t tweaks we can get these guys booming. Now, they've gained five point three thousand subscribers in one year. That alone is epic, and it shows that they are doing the right thing. So, look, guys, whatever it is that you're actually doing keep doing it and then add on top of it these few things that i'm going to recommend that you do to improve your channel even further so <clears throat> first and foremost um I, I would uh put a video channel like an actual channel intro here like talking about who you guys are why it is that you're doing this channel and why people should subscribe to you um the the second thing i would do i love this graphic um, but I would update it so that I can see your guys' faces. This is a this is a awesome picture. The 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 font is perfect. Um, but yeah, adjust so that people can see your upper body. You know, to actually see your faces, so that when they come to your channel, there is an automatic connect between this a video that they see and obviously the the channel art that you've got set up here. Um, further to this, uh, I, I would just like to say like. The, the uh, thumbnails, they are good, but they can 100% be improved. Now, what I like is that you guys have made the effort to put your guys' uh, uh, faces front and uh, center on every single one of the um, the thumbnails that you put together. And you can see actually just by, by scrolling through, you can see that you guys have actually improved on what you've put together like um this obviously it, it, it looks like a, a it's it's basically like professional right so the the shot is very high resolution you can see you guys you guys are off center you know and then you've got your your um actual text on the side here um and it's the same kind of things with here now the only thing i would say that <clears throat> i would do in order to improve is to have a theme to each of the videos that you're doing so at the moment you know every single one is individualized which I believe would take up your time in trying to be creative and creating a new one every single you know time you create a video which I believe you create two a week uh, maybe even three from what I've seen from when I scoped out the channel um, so I, I would honestly have <clears throat> excuse me something along the lines of putting together uh, ongoing themes now 
Furthermore, uh, the, the other thing I would do is I would create more videos based around what's really, really popular for you guys. So you see this, you know you're dating an Italian when has got 34,000 views. Italian food that doesn't exist in Italy, 56,000 views. Italian versus English cooking, um, 64,000 views. So these, these are your videos that are absolutely dominating. Um, in terms of the, like the latest videos that you've got here, for example, like Christmas Excitement, um, only 259 views, um, Nighttime Routine Real, only 423 views, and we'll probably open up a couple of these and see how it is that we can actually improve, because look, whatever you guys did here obviously worked, and that's why it's killing it, okay, so keep doing more of that. <clears throat> um, in terms of the uh, playlists themselves, let's just have a look at what you guys have got going on. Uh, vlogs, vlogmas, Italian versus English, food. Uh, so, so that's great. Look, you've got, I've got one, two, three, four, five um, playlists. And if you're re releasing two videos per week, I would honestly recommend that you create two playlists per month. Okay. So in other words, you guys have been around for a year. So 12 times two is 24. You should have 24 playlists. Now, how do you actually do that? Especially with a vlog, it can be quite difficult. What you want to do is you want to put together vlog based topics right so we, we uh, if we go back here some of the videos that we're going to be opening up right so nighttime routine so this can be <clears> that you can create a playlist um, based around uh, either nighttime routine if it's something that you guys are going to continue to do moving forward um, you could create a playlist just based around your vlogmas which I believe uh, your vlogmas sorry which I believe you already did so that's good um, travel to England, you know, you can maybe have a, a playlist for travel in 2018. You need to get creative about how you create playlists. I know it's not easy. It, it was difficult for me and I do this shit every day, right? So I would honestly suggest that you guys look at creating more playlists. Um, if you're releasing again, if you're releasing two videos per week, I would look at doing, um, so let's just have a little common rule to make it very easy to understand however many videos per week you're creating that's how many that's how many playlists per month you want to be creating okay um i've seen people recommend as many as you know like one uh two to three playlists per week and yes that's fine as long as you're releasing a video per week okay so uh perhaps maybe with the channel just starting out you guys aren't doing this full time yet so two to three videos per week i would look at two to three new playlists per month okay because google and youtube love putting out new content they really do they love promoting content especially when it does well and once you, now that you've got a subscriber base of 5300 people you can definitely boost that further by creating more playlists because youtube and google are going to promote your content okay so just uh i'm not going to play this video guys i've actually i've actually been through and watched it one thing that i do know that can improve immediately is that you guys you you'll want to see how this video started it started out with with the vlogmas um, intro, Italian intro, and it goes for, let's have a look at the time here, seven seconds, you know, almost eight seconds, at the eight second mark, she comes on the screen, honestly, too long, okay, uh, because when you're trying to attract new subscribers, like, like you said that, you said that you're, um, you're, you're trying to grow your subscriber base, that there's not a lot of growth happening at the moment, right, and the reason, the reason that's happening is, is little things like this, okay, so the, the people who are, who aren't new to your channel, so your subscribers that are going to come back and check out your, your videos and so on and so forth, that's fine, they're happy to sit through an eight second video intro, uh, because they know who you are and they know the value that you're going to bring and that they're going to be entertained, right, but for the new people who are the ones you want to become your subscribers, eight seconds is way too damn long, my video intros are three seconds and I'm working my butt off to get them down to two, okay, um, at the end of the day, people are coming and they want to come for the reason that they clicked on your video, okay? So you've got 423 views. I'm guessing majority of them actually came from your subscriber base of 5,000 people. But even if you got, say, for example, 50, you know, 50 percent of, of these views came from new people, right? So you want to kind of work on a 10 percent conversion rate. If you've got 200 views, you want to get you want to get a 2 percent, right? So that's so a 10%, that's 200 views, that means you want to get kind of 20 subscribers from this video. And at 29 likes, I've now just given you a 30th, um, I'm guessing I'm guessing that, tw that, uh, that uh, you wouldn't have gotten 20 subscribers because it usually takes, it's usually harder to get uh, subscribers than it is likes, okay? And we'll talk a little bit more on how you can improve that as well. 
So with your nighttime routines, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with creating a video like this, even if it is outside of your channel scope, that's fine. I actually encourage people to venture into a new topic every single week uh, that, because it's gonna bring in new subscribers to your channel base, okay? So that's something you guys can do. So well done from venturing out to something different, going out from just your daily vlogs and food into getting into nighttime routines, okay? Uh, but we're gonna now we're gonna get down to the down and dirty and we're gonna start looking at some of these things a little bit deeper, all right? So, uh, Ricardo, here's the first thing. Uh, when I look at when I look at vlogs, this is a very typical problem. Like people just put up like these these these. I don't know. It's probably like 30, uh, 40 or fifty words. Okay, you want to put in a, a description of at least one to two hundred words. And honestly, if you want to stand out, aim for three hundred. That might sound like a lot, but honestly, it's not. You sit down, you write about what the video is actually about, what it is you're going to be covering. Um, you know, touch upon a few things that people are going to view in the video, but don't necessarily go into full detail, okay? You just want to kind of touch upon them. This is your, your synopsis, if you will, okay? Remember, this is a video platform, okay? So you want to put your video synopsis here, so you're telling uh, YouTube exactly what this is a video. This is about. Now, I personally am in the marketing game, okay? So it's very, very... Uh, competitive right so i don't just go for the the recommended one to 200 words i i aim for 300 plus honestly most of the time i i shoot for i get around 600 to a thousand words in i'm not saying you guys have to do that because most people doing vlogs and covering food on youtube have no clue what it is that they're doing so for anyone who's watching this vlog um, channel review you can take all of the the term the words that I'm talking about here you can take all the advice and apply it to your channel and watch your channel grow okay if you apply everything that I'm talking about here so the uh, the thing here is that you want to aim for a bigger description and you want to make sure you add the, the the actual words in the description as well so your keywords and your tags become really really important it's smart that you've it's smart that you front loaded it here which means you've got the the key term up front, you know, front and center. That's really good. Okay, so that's one point for there. But it's not in the first sentence, right? Which is also important. Trust me, it is important. At least you've gotten it in there. Well done on that. But you want to try and put it in there and you want to try and get it in a few more times. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, the, the tags as well. So you, you've got nighttime routines, which is good. At least you've got it in the tag. But you want to also put your keyword here again you want it to be the front of the title you want it to be the front of your description and you want it to be your first tag here in fact the more tags that you can find with nighttime routines in it and load all of the similar tags up front okay so look it goes one two three four five six seven before you get to the actual tag of this particular video okay so how do you go about finding words um, that, that you can actually put into tags here. Before I do that, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of uh, YouTube boost here. Adding that, adding that little comment is actually going to give you a boost, okay? Now, the other thing I've noticed here quickly before we get into the keyword research is um, you, want to, you want to comment on the video yourself straight away, okay? You want, to be, you want to be seen as someone who's engaging and the way you want to do it is you want to ask a question like, for example, nighttime routine. You, want, you might want to uh, post, for example, what, which of these nighttime um, routines do you think you're going to apply to your to your uh, evening uh, routine or rituals? Okay. Then the other way, the other way that we we want to find tags is real nighttime ritual routine. That should be in there. My real night uh, nighttime routine. That should be in there. Remember these these words. You also want them in your description. This is how you quickly and easy easily write 600 words like I do. You find all of these related words and you figure out how they fit into your video and you put them in as your tags as well, okay? Um, there, there is another way of doing it, but I think that'll be enough to give you guys a bit of a boost, all right? So that's that's it for the tags. Now, the other thing you wanna do is you want to create a high resolution uh, thumbnail because I, I've spoken about thumbnails already, but you can do that with Canva. I know a lot of people don't have technology, but it is a free app, it is a free website. You do not need the VIP package until your channel is big and you want to go into multiple 
uh, platforms. Like if you want to go into uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, so on and so forth, which I don't recommend you do anyways, but then you need the VIP package because you can resize images like within a couple of clicks and it's amazing. But honestly, for 99.5% of people probably, it's a really random number, I don't know where it came from. But anyway, for 99% of people, you know, you only need the free Canva account, okay? That will do the job for you. All right, so, and then the second thing you wanna do uh, uh, once once you um, actually do that is you want to you want to get a comment pinned because believe it or not it actually creates um, it, it does actually create uh, engagement on your video remember I said you want to comment on your video yep then you want to like you want to like okay and you want to like and reply to every single one of these comments so at least you've done that that's good but that includes your comment as well you want to like your own comment I know it sounds silly uh, but it does actually create engagement the more engagement you get on the video the more YouTube pushes your video okay so in respects to uh, your you want to I know for a fact because I've gone through these these videos you guys haven't put any end screen cards or any uh, or any uh, videos on here so you want to put in you know you want to put in end screen cards and you want to put in info cards because that's how people are going to come back so I know you've got this don't forget to subscribe that's great but trust me most people aren't going to do that okay you want to have like an actual overlay where once you put in your, your cards you can create a um, you can actually create it using TubeBuddy, and if you, if anyone, anyone who's serious about YouTube needs TubeBuddy, okay, and if you've got TubeBuddy, you need to use it. And the way you actually go about doing that is you, is you create, um, you create a uh, what's it called, a, a thumb, you create an actual template. That's the word I was trying to find, um, and that, and that's what you can use in every single video. You don't have to do it again and again and again, okay? You can just do that, and that's actually gonna be enough. You can just copy paste it onto every single one of your videos, and you're done, okay? Because most people are gonna watch videos until the end, then they're going to decide at the end probably whether they actually wanna subscribe or not. And the people who get to the end, those are the people you want to present a call to action for, right? Or in this case, a call to subscribe. So. Make sure that you put that uh, end screen video here and make sure you put info cards so that people come up here and go. And what you want to do is you want to create maybe past maybe four or five general <clears throat> general topics. And this is where I put in playlists. You put in uh, info cards uh, and every sort of two to three minutes, one card pops up that says, hey, if you want to learn more about how to, how to what's this? How, to, how I learned how to speak English, right? Check out this playlist. If you want to learn more about uh, my vlogmas, you know, check out this this playlist here. If you want to learn more about, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, for every single playlist you create, you want to you want to try and create an info card that pops up every two to three minutes. Because here's the thing: majority of people will watch two to three minutes of video and then they're ready to clock out. And so by providing info cards, it's it's giving people the opportunity to actually uh, to actually check out more of your content. And I'll be honest, I was I was skeptical when I first heard about this particular. Um, strategy but when i apply it the my playlist views and uh watch time they increased i believe it was it was something like 20 to 50 fold it was ridiculous the growth that i had and so even though my some of my playlists were actually already ranking with youtube i had significant growth because i actually applied what it is that i'm telling you okay so i highly suggest that you do the same thing um, so that's quite a bit of info that we've we've covered already in just just uh, going over two of these videos. I'll give you another thumbs up there, buddy, just to add a little bit more engagement. But look here, man, it's it's the same thing, right? Um, you want to create a, a high quality thumbnail. You want to share it on as many platforms as as you can. You want to engage with every single one of these videos. Every everyone that comments, you want to like and love their comments and then reply and like and love your own comments okay it's all counted as engagement and then you want to make sure that you pin a comment to the top as well probably the you what you want to do is is either pin your comment which because it's the most engaging uh, because you're actually going to be answer, asking a question right if you remember the, the feedback that I gave you um, but then or you want to create you want to uh, pin a comment that is very very uh, promising like or very very encouraging to the video that you've created so you've got a lot of info here to pick from just you know go ahead and pick one of them and get it up there all right so again you know we're talking about the the tags here i mean look at how great this video has done 2000 over 2000 views with with 200 likes right so that's a 10 percent like ratio uh view to view to like ratio which is really really good it's a 12 minute video which is perfect length um but your tags your tags are killing you man like look it's 
I how I learned English is sitting third. Honestly, <clears throat> if you, if you put in how I, how I, I learned English here and get in get in a, a better description like I told you um, and and add in better tags, this video could do even better. All right, man. So don't don't be afraid to go back and correct the videos that you've made mistakes with in the past. Right, and if you if again everybody who's serious about YouTube, you need TubeBuddy. All right, and if you don't know what TubeBuddy is. Click in the description of this video. It'll take you to my full review of what TubeBuddy is and how it can actually help your channel. Right, it's only nineteen dollars a month, but trust me, it is a game changer. For less than a dollar a month, it is going to literally ten x your return. All right, you will get so many more views, so many more um, uh, subscribers to your channel just by following uh, my my strategy that I'm giving away for free for those who actually join TubeBuddy. All right, so thank you so much. I appreciate uh, Ricardo and the Italis channel for giving me the opportunity to do my first vlog channel review video. Um, it was great. You guys are doing great. You guys are going to kill it. If you don't blow up in 2018, based on the success that you've already had, adding in the ticks, uh, the tips and the techniques that I've told you and the things that you need to tweak, you guys should be able to blow up this channel. I wouldn't be surprised if you got to somewhere between 25 and 50,000 by the end of 2018 if you keep going the way that you're going, all right? Thank you, everybody, for stopping by and watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this uh, particular video. Take care, much love, and I will be bringing you my next review next week. Take care. Talk soon.